Good morning, Appleton North, and welcome to today's episode of The Spark. For Monday, May 11th. Now let's see who's celebrating their birthday today. A special happy birthday today to Claire, Ella, Cody, Frankie, Nelson, William, and Trevor. We hope all of you have a wonderful birthday today. And a personal happy birthday today to my daughter, Ellen, who is celebrating her golden birthday today. Happy birthday, Ellen. Love you. Hi, Appleton North. It's Mrs. Riefeld. I teach chemistry. And when I heard of this video series called The Spark, I thought, where are the sparks? There's got to be a spark in the spark. And maybe that's my job. So when school ended in like March, I thought just in case, you never know when you might need uh, these rusty metal balls. So I packed them up and brought them home with me now for the summer, I guess. I've got two of them uh, and they really are like rusty iron balls. One of them is covered with aluminum foil. Here come your effective collisions, AP Chem, right? So in chemistry, we talk about the fact that particles have to collide in order for a reaction to occur, but they have to collide in the right orientation and with the right amount of energy. And so if I collide this aluminum covered metal ball with this other really rusty one with the proper orientation and sufficient energy, we should see a chemical reaction that produces sparks. So safety first. I'm gonna put on my goggles and we'll shut down the lights a little bit so that hopefully we can see a spark. Okay, lights, goggles, here we go. Now, warning, like every collision might not result in a reaction. I gotta get the right amount of energy and the right orientation. Hmm, not bad, huh? Can you see that? Ooh, that's a good one. Let's go another one. Yes! Sparks in my basement! Holy moly! That's amazing! One more! One more! Yes! This is crazy! Lights! That's unbelievable! And I really wish that I could see your face right now because I'm sure you're like, ooh! And I, and I miss that about science and, and I kind of have realized over the last couple weeks like this is not my cup of tea, like this teaching behind a computer, that's not where science should be happening and, and I wanna be able to see your faces in the lab being like, whoa, that's how things work or maybe it's just as important that I miss seeing your faces in the classroom where you're like, whoa, what's he talking about? But I miss that. Uh, and so I hope that you're well and, and I'm sending a special message to all of those who are taking AP tests this year. I know be, uh, on behalf of all of the AP teachers, we're really rooting for you and we're glad that you have this opportunity because I know you've really been working hard all year long and especially we commend your efforts at this time too. I know this isn't what review normally looks like, uh, but I really know that you're working hard and, and so I, I wish you well and, and good luck on your tests in these next couple weeks. And I can't wait to be back at school, but it might not be until August and that's okay. And so I hope that you are all doing well and you have a good couple of weeks here until the finish. We're almost there. Stay well, Appleton North. This is Mr. Pennenberg and I approve this message.